Hi, this video is on uh, the work done by a compressed spring. Um, so first it says a force of 12 pounds compressed to 24 inch spring. Um, eight inches. Uh, a force of 12 pounds compresses a 24 inch spring eight inches. Um, how much work is done by compressing the spring from a length of 20 inches to a length of 18? Um, so first we're going to use the Hooke's law, F equals KD. Uh, the force is 12 pounds. Um, and we're looking for the constant K. Uh, D is the amount that is actually compressed, and it's 8 inches compressed. So if I take the 8 to the other side by dividing by 8, K ends up equaling 12 over 8, which is 1.5. Okay, so now that we have K, we can actually do the work. Uh, the work that's required here. The work is integrating the force, the force function. With respect to X. Okay, so our force function. is our K. Times X. And the hardest part now of this problem is determining where we're going to integrate from. So let's take a look at this spring. Here's a spring and it is 24 inches long. It says, how much work is done in compressing the spring of a length of 20 inches? So if the spring is 20 inches long, that means um, it is Compressed, if the spring is actually 20 inches long, that means it's compressed to 4 inches. And then it says uh, to a length of 18 inches. If we have a spring that is 18 inches, uh, it's been compressed 6 inches. Do you see? Here it's been compressed 4 to make a 20 inch spring. Here it's been compressed 6. So we're going to integrate from 4 to 6. So that's all we do. 1.5x squared integrate divided by 2. And we're going to integrate from 4 to 6. 1.5 times 6 squared over 2 uh, minus 1.5 times 4 squared over 2. And when I integrate that from 4 to 6, I get 15. So the answer to this problem is 15 inch-pounds force. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.